have been some weird locomotive designs down the centuries, haven't there? But this one looks more weird than it is. Aerolite was built in 1869 for the Northeastern Railway. Her purpose was to replace a Kitson tank engine of the same name from 1851, which had been destroyed in an accident in 1868. This had been built as a showcase engine for the Crystal Palace, but later found a niche job hauling the private coach for the Northeastern's mechanical engineer. Aerolite carried on with these duties, as she wasn't powerful enough to do anything else. It's questionable how much of the original engine is left, as she's been rebuilt several times over the years. She first emerged as a 222 well tank, then as a side tank in 1886, then a 422 compound in 1892, before finally becoming a 224 tank in 1902. Since then, she's had new cylinders, a new crank axle, a new boiler, and additional brakes. Even the nameplates, which were removed in 1883, were replaced by new ones in 1907. Incidentally, the Northeastern had other 224 tanks for inspection duties, but these bear very little resemblance as they were not compounds with the same specifications. For such a small engine, her weight distribution is far from light. Despite weighing just under 45 tonnes, her axle loading is a staggering 19 and a half tonnes. She's heavier on her wheels than a Great Western Manor. And when inspection coach movements became uneconomic to run, the engine's needs became less and less significant. She remained in LNER service under Chief Assistant Mechanical Engineer Arthur Stamer until he retired in 1933. Within a week, Britain's last operational two-cylinder compound was withdrawn and set aside for display in York's Railway Museum, where she's remained more or less ever since. And before any millennials ask, no. Contrary to what you've seen on 21st century children's television, this engine has had nothing to do with rubbish collection. Unless you consider the NER's top brass as such.